Hello fans of City Builder Games, this is Slivers FX, also known as Mike, and today we are going to try some City Skylines. Not try, more like guide you guys. I've been playing this game for a very long time, and uh, I even uploaded some videos, but since they were not so profound and professionally made, I said I'm gonna restart the series and do it like, you know, the pros do it. So <laughs> I have a new setup here and we are gonna go into the game, this time with no camera, because all of this is gonna be just for the watching. So we're gonna try a new game. I have a few mods installed. I will put them down in the uh, description, of course. And we are gonna play one of my favorite maps of all time. It's called Vanilla valley with this little um with this little image over here we have the connections oil or uh, farming resources plenty of wood and water uh we're gonna start the game and it's probably gonna load in a few seconds ah <sighs> now this is a relaxing game like this you really can just waste or <laughs> spend a lot of hours putting to effort and how to make the city as beautiful as possible. All right, here we are in our map, Vanilla Valley. And uh, the first thing you've noticed is that this map is sort of dark. And since I have Team Mixer, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click in this little icon here. I'm going to go to one of the atmosphere options and I'm going to put the exposure a little higher like so. Maybe put the regular scattering a little higher, this one down, everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna change the water a little bit. It does look okay-ish, but I wanna see if I can actually get some, uh, some nicer water here, okay. It looks okay, but let me see what we can have. So if we go here to tropical theme of the water, what happens? Nothing much. Okay, what if we change the color? yeah that's that's a little little more realistic so we're gonna save that we're gonna go here and we're gonna save this as my oh what can i do oh never mind save a mix right there my new favorite for the next uh few episodes that we're gonna do so i'm gonna save and i'm gonna use this as a default hopefully it loads next time as well right otherwise just go here and reload it okay so we have a nice little uh valley here no not really a valley more like a plane and there's three of these uh, highway entries so which one do we start with you're asking well normally if you're building um for example uh if you're building residential you would start where there's the least amount of train tracks and the least amount of ore or oil in the area. So I would go with this one. I'm gonna start over here. Of course, I'm gonna put down the first road here and then delete it like most people do. And then I'm gonna start with this two lane road. And first of all, I'm gonna go here with my United UI, Unified UI, I'm gonna build a roundabout. This little thing pops up you can even go to free cursor mode and it just pops up anything anywhere you like i'm gonna go here i'm gonna make it a little bigger you can do that with plus and minus to make it bigger or smaller i'm actually gonna make it quite big because this is gonna be one of the main intersections here and we are gonna redo it later on when the traffic gets a little bit uh heavier gonna connect it like that and we're gonna connect this one like so and we're gonna reverse this of course so you can uh, actually get out of here as well uh, to do that you just click on this little upgrade road to and you right click on the road all right next up what are we gonna do here so I want to build a whole lot of residential in this area and going towards here once we unlock more uh, space I would like to do a straight road, but I'm going to do a two lane road. Two lane, two way road. One in each direction. Same as it was with, uh, with the highway. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between. 
And you'll see later why on if you're gonna watch this series. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna leave a lot of space in between. And we're gonna connect these one more time. Boom. Of course, we're gonna change the direction of that as well. We're gonna use, oh yeah, we gotta connect it at some point, right? So we're gonna do that here. I'm gonna connect another road up towards that area. But first, I would like to put down some uh, residential. So we're gonna create a little loop here. I'm gonna make a little more space between the main road and the off road. You can even do it zigzag if you like to. I will make it a little more personal. So uh, it's like that. And make a little nice turn over here. And maybe even create a few of these uh, turns. So it's not all like flatty, flat, flat. Okay, this is nice. Let's create another one here, perhaps. And like this. Oh. We want to fill up as much space as possible, of course, but it doesn't necessarily have to be straight. So that's what I'm doing here. Maybe like that. Looks like almost like an octopus of some sort. <laughs> All right, and one over here. And we're going to continue this as a road later on. Like that. Alright, cool. Now we need to put down our services, first of all. Alright, I'm going to make another road in this direction. So we can build some industry on this side. Let's do that first. Okay, roads. I am playing like I've never played this before. Everything is turned off, except the, uh, the mods are still there. Oh, I wonder what this does. Oh, these tools. Okay, I forgot about them. I have never used them before. It's going to be the first time ever, ever I'm going to use them. Okay, let's try and line these roads up together. One moment. Like this. That seems pretty lined up like that. Okay, cool. And then on the same way we did with the other one. For a good reason. We're going to actually plop one of the uh, massive transits in between these two roads. It's going to be very nice to see. All right. Let's continue building this way. I'm going to make a nice little curve. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Except we need like, instead of 40, 10, we need 14. Okay. Instead of 20, we need 40 uh, units. <laughs> Still a bit of it. Still a little bit confused on uh, my explanation of this game, but I'll get around with that. The first episode is going to be a little messy, but I promise I'll get better. All right. Here, we're going to put some industry down. Not much. Not much. Uh, as we expand this area, all of this is going to be industry anyway. And here, we're probably going to put more residential. So it's a little away from each other. Okay, like that. Uh, like so. Let's put down a nice little... Uh, what's it called again? Coal power plant. Yes, coal power plant. And then we need to take care of the water. Now, whoever built this map said fresh water is over here at this lake. And then you have the sewer that goes all the way into the ocean. It's kind of hilarious. It should be the other way around, honestly, but hell. We're going to build the uh, echo sewer sewage later on. Let's just build this one first. I'm going to build one here. Uh, and the echo water outlet. Actually, no, we're just going to do this one. Because we're going to exchange that and clean up the mess afterwards anyway. Right, cool. We still have 21,000 left, so what we have to do is connect these pipelines, first of all. And what we're going to do is connect them on the road like they normally would in the real life. We're going to do this as realistic as possible. 
Gonna be a little funky, but hey, it will work. Like so. Gonna be a little funky. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, we got some of it there as well, and a little bit more over here, and on this side as well, uh-huh. Okay, when you hear that sound, that means it's connected, by the way. At least that works with the pipeline, not so much with the power lines. Now we need to connect these with the main power supply, and go over here over the highway and we're gonna start building our uh, network over there we still have 11,000 but I don't want to put down a wind turbine because it always costs 6,000 I'm gonna actually check what's cheaper putting a line all over there it's almost cheaper if I do it this way yeah I'm gonna put one of these down here boom and that should suffice for a while and now we can actually start building some of the residential areas. So what are we going to do is just fill up all the, this part, all of that. Maybe here as well. Like that. We're going to put in some basics in here. Like uh, the fire station, police station and all that. And on this side, we're going to create the... Uh, commercial zone okay cool this is the basics for now all right let's see what happens when we put it on speed of course there's one more thing you can do before you start the game if you go here under economy and you go under budget you can decrease all of these to z to 50 percent that's for a good reason even this one uh your money will actually grow instead of falling because you don't need this many resources at this moment. Or services at this point. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, we got our first buildings popping up. Gotta connect this uh, line over here, otherwise everything is gonna go dead. Like so. Oh yeah, we forgot the sewage down here. Holy shit. Boom. Alright. Now we don't have any money left. <laughs> but at least everything's gonna be working. It's gonna start working. I'm gonna fix that line later on. I just connected it so we have an actual connection to here. Right? Because it's very far away. Okay, cool. Now we start have to start getting some industry done because the... Uh, the demand is growing very rapidly. Let's put some of it down here. And on this side as well. And over here. Should be enough for now while the uh, residential demand goes back up. There we go. It's already growing. And then the houses are going to continue building on their own. We are still in minus. Don't worry about that though. As long as we have our roads and everything connected, it should be just fine. We did spend a lot on uh, basic needs. We have to connect this, but we don't have enough money. All right. We could potentially grab a, one of the loans, but we need the population of 550 first. Come on, grow, 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 grow. Thank you very much. Maybe even put one of the industries over here and here, since this one doesn't have water. We'll see in a bit. We have nighttime. It's lovely for now. These roads don't have lights, by the way, just so you know. The houses do, not so much the roads. Oh, and we're already getting in plus. That's good. The incoming is the income is coming back. And the start of the game is usually the hardest. Start of the game is always the hardest. I'm potentially even going to build some of the industry here and then remove it later on. Because we have the mant. And I'm going to remove these two free here. Because they don't have water. So we don't get even less money. 
currently at 250 per week. I am waiting for that demand to go up a little bit. So we get some money up and of, of course also the population is growing. Roads now have names. Click on a name to open an information panel about the road in question. Now you could potentially just uh, rename all of the roads if you so wish. I am not going to bother with that because there is just too many of them. I will, however, name districts, uh, areas, parks, and so on. Okay, we do have a lot of demand for industry. Plenty. So let's put some industry on this side. For now, for now. Okay, cool. Actually, we are going in the money now. So let's uh, extend the road over here just a tiny little bit. We're going to create another roundabout somewhere about there. There-ish. And we'll see how this goes. Right, so let's give it a shot how this is going to work. There should be a roundabout about there-ish. And little hamlet. So we got a little bit of money. We unlocked the uh, new buildings such as schools and uh, medical centers and such. The important stuff. But what's important right now is to create more jobs. We're going to extend that. We're going to create more jobs on this side. I'm going to do it like super tight oops and on this side as well and we're gonna create more industry zones like so we'll see how that works in the meantime electricity is apparently a problem right now let's see why Let's see why we have 50% and we are at 11 megawatts. We're going to increase that to 63%. Should be enough for now, I believe. Yeah, we are up to 18 megawatts. These percentages don't make really sense. It's the budget, but the actual availability goes up much higher. So that should be fine for now. We're going to put a... First, we're going to put a school right about... Well, we're going to just put it in the middle. Nice. And the medical center could be... Well, it could be right next to it, or it could be in between. Yeah, we're going to be in between, and we're going to put a uh, one of the paths in between there, as soon as we unlock them. Okay. Put another house here. I'm going to put some trees there. I'm going to put a little housey here, and one there. And then we're going to connect this layer of roads back to where they belong. Nice. Let's speed, us, speed up this a bit and see where we're growing. Currently at 1,200 per week. And uh, yeah, it's growing. It's growing. Absolutely. Let's see how our industry is doing. Hmm. Well... We have to extend this a bit, even though we don't have the road yet, but we know it's going to be there. I'm going to delete this uh, part of the railroad here, because we won't need it. Not anytime soon, anyway. And by the time we do have something in common, we're probably going to build a massive park over here. Okay, we are... Apparently, we don't have enough electricity again. Why? Hmm. Got to put it up to 70% then. Okay, we're up to 22 megawatts now. We're still going in plus, and the population is growing quite rapidly. I mean, a tiny town like this already has 700 population. It's absurd, right? But then again, if you have the realistic mod for it, then it goes... It just grows too slow. You have to have a lot of low-density uh, residential area, and that makes it unbearable. Okay, so I don't want this area to be, so I'm gonna 
We didn't unlock another area? Let's see. Apparently we don't do that until we are worthy village. So we need 1,100 population first before we can unlock that. All right, cool. We're going to do a curve over here. Nice little curvy area. I'm going to do the same on this side. We're going to go with like that. Makes it completely aligned. And continue down this road and make a roundabout somewhere close. Not too close. Not too close. I think there-ish should be fine. Let's put a roundabout builder. And we're going to put the same size that it was here. It's going to be a busy area. I really want this area to be more of a luxury area. Right? We can even put another town up here. We do have plenty of space, and once I unlock all the, uh, all the, how you call that, squares, we are gonna just use the 81 tools, any, 81, uh, we're just gonna use the 81 tiles mod and use it to unlock the rest. Alright, cool. Reverse that. And apparently we don't have electricity again. One more time. I'm going to put it just at 100% off. Oh, maybe 90 should be fine. Cool. We have a lot of demand, so we're going to do what is demanding of us. I'm going to have a lot of space here. And that's for a good reason. Actually, this road here... Hmm, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. A little bit differently. We're gonna have we're gonna have it straight. And this one straight as well. And we're gonna make a curve over here at this end. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna actually put a monorail right here in between. So it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but it's gonna work. I, I promise you. I promise you it's gonna work just fine. All right. Let's uh, continue building in this area. Wait, why is it not working? There we go. I was like, why is it not working? It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> I'm gonna extend this road and we're gonna go a little curvy in this area and then down here. So it's not a complete square. And then on this side and down here. You know, I normally don't like building uh, in the night, but for the sake of the uh, realism, we are going to do it anyway. I uh, just turned down the speed a little bit, so we are not entirely over fluctuating with uh, money, <laughs> even though we're not, but it's fine. Uh, let's put another residential here, one more here. We are getting demand for a lot of uh, commercial as well. I'm going to put some space here for park paths. And we are getting problems because of this. Now we could take a loan and save ourselves the trouble. And we're going to put one of these recycling centers. Now, actually, I'm going to put in a landfill site first, and then we're going to build a large recycling center. I'm going to put it right there. That should be fine for a while. Let's speed this up a little bit. And the trucks are already going on their way. Seven, eight, nine. I think they're all going to go out. Yeah, and they're already picking up the stuff they need to pick up. Awesome sauce. Some of them might even come back here through this area and pick up the rest. But you see these, all of these are going to start disappearing. All right, I need to extend my uh, water pipelines once more. Like that. Let's, uh, you know what? This is annoying. Let's just do it like we're supposed to. Gonna have a lot of water pipelines in this area. 
going right through the center. And we do need more residential, apparently. Once we get to 1100, we can actually build more industry when we unlock that tile over there. Cool. Cool, right? Cool. Yeah, everything's cool. <laughs> Everything is cool. Come on, come on. Pick up uh, junk faster. Come on, come on, come on. Where are all these? Oh, there they, there, there they come. Trucks. There we go. Everything's picked up now on that side. Now for this area. All right. We do have this. We do have this. At the next point, we're probably going to unlock the, uh, the fire department and the police station. So hopefully we'll have enough money for both. You're thinking like this one tiny little road is not enough, right? But believe me, it's plenty for now. It's plenty because there's not a lot of traffic going on. And this roundabout makes the traffic go all the more smoother. Some people even go this way, probably. They wouldn't have a reason, but some do. I'm going to fill this up as well. Maybe build a park here and there as well, once we unlock them. But the demand of residential is absolutely going nuts. So yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to fill this up. I'm going to build a park on this area. I'm going to make this bigger, first of all. 20 by 14. This should be plenty for a couple of parks in there. All right, cool. Still need more commercial, apparently. I'm going to build commercial around this area here and on this side where the park is supposed to be. And we'll see where that gets us. Of course, again. And there we go. Worthy village reach a population of 1,100. Two by two kilometer new area unlocked and emergency services, of course. And a second loan and districts have been also unlocked. As well as new industries, forestry and agriculture specialization. Alright, so first of all, the most important thing is to put down a fire station. Because if you don't do that, all of the things are just going to burn down. So let's see, where can we squeeze this in? Where can we squeeze this in? You know, I would like to do it here, but actually... Mm, I'm going to do it here. And then the police station is also going to be on this side where there's nothing built yet. I need more budget on water right now. So we're going to go up to 60%. 60 percent. 60-ish percentage. Let's see how's this working. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we have this. We have this. Even though there would be another one here available. Would be nice, right? But first of all, the most important part, we need more space. So we're going to lock this area first to build more industry. Nice. Let's put this one here. Let's increase the size of these areas. We're probably going to build a... Uh, hmm. This is an area for farming. I might build a farm here and put an oil here. No, oil is this, my bad. This is ore, and we're going to leave this ore out. All right, cool. Okay. Let's put out this. I'm going to actually uh, use this. And connect it down here, and maybe connect it in between one more time. And now... I can take off the industry off this main road and put it here instead. That should be plenty. Let's connect this. Oh, it's already connected. Okay, cool. Let's put it here and through this area. All right, that's that's absolutely gorgeous and nice as well. These guys don't have any water, nor do they have electricity. Planning to crank it up to a hundred percent. Okay, cool. And let's uh, build another power station at this point. 
Well, we're gonna need a lot more money, but give it a minute or two. Okay, we got the fire department there. We only have one there. I'm gonna need another one here eventually. That building is still getting demolished, apparently. I do have automatic demolish, by the way. I think. No, I don't. Well, I should have, but uh, some things just don't get demolished on their own. I'll check with that mod later on. So, sometimes you just want to have the demolish on just for the convenience of it. All right. We do need more <laughs> residential again. What we're going to do is we're going to connect this through here. 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 I'm going to put down right down the middle. I'm going to connect all of these and make more residential here. That's going to fill up super quick. Let's uh, build the water, water line over there. Sometimes I hate how fast night is night, you know? But then again, it's beautiful. At least we can see what's going on, right? Okay, let's put in our first district, which is going to be this one. And uh, I will name the first district. You guys can name the others if you like, especially if you're going to watch this series. I'm sure some of you will like it. Some of you won't. This is called the Vermont district for now. I'm going to put it as Plains of Ashford. It's a reference for Guild Wars 2, if anybody's playing that. And I think it's a nice name that just comes over here, because this is basically a plane. Not a plain plane, just plain. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put a roundabout here. We're going to move all of these away, so we have plenty of space. And you'll see what I mean. Like, I want this to be on the same side as this. Even though these are a little further apart, it doesn't matter. I would like to build a giant-ass park in between. Okay, cool. We do still have a lot of demand, so we're going to continue building in this direction. This is a little more square area than this, for a reason, because I would like this to be more of a, a square area uh, with offices and stuff. And for the further down we go, the bigger the buildings are going to get. Put some area in between them, just so a few paths can go right there. And, uh, hmm... Let me see. I should put one of these in between for now. So people have an easier access to the road. Okay, nice. Let's uh, crank up the amount of people we're going to have in the city. And uh, see where this gets us. We do need more money. There we go. That's one. And we need another 420. There we go. Done. Apparently we don't have enough electricity again. Right. Up to 120% for now. How much does this give us? 55 megawatts. That's a lot of consumage, honestly. Alright. Tiny town already. We have a park area, industry area, landscaping, and so on and so forth. And I think we're going to start off with getting a park down right in the middle. And we're going to connect it here so people walk through the park and give us extra money when they go to work. Plus it will satisfy them as well. Now how to build a park properly without them actually using a road? That's a good question, right? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Straightforward as well. And you'll see. We do have 20,000. But I do want to use most of the money for the park if anything else we're gonna get another loan and uh, we'll see how that goes all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build an off-road right here i'm 
And part of the park is also going to be a cemetery, which hasn't unlocked yet. Whichever it is, it's here. At 2800, we're going to have a cemetery over here, right in between. I'm going to put a little more spacing, like that. And there's going to be the main park entrance should be... Hmm. Let me see. I might actually put it here. It won't really matter where the park entrance is as long as this is um, working properly. All right. Let's put a park uh, area first. So we made a district. This is also like a district, but it's made for parks. If you don't do this, you can actually start a park. We're going to make quite a big park right in the center of this piece there's gonna be one road coming down right the middle as well here later on when we have more traffic i'm gonna have a central uh central city or downtown right here nice all right of course if you put a go to here where it parks and you go to city park these are part of the DLCs with the park, um, with the park DLC. <laughs> I'm gonna put a main park down right about here. There we go. Woodland has reached level one, and I want to put this right in the middle. So when you actually see it, you go through here. Cool. I think tree and anarchy is on. That's why. Uh, I have to take, actually take it off. One moment. Let me check on that real quick. Tree and Anarchy. Where are you? I keep forgetting this one. Where it is. Fine Road Anarchy. Uh, tree and Anarchy. Okay. So Shift and P to disable it. And that will delete this tree. Because it doesn't belong there. Same as this one. There we go. And let's delete these, whatever they are, on the middle of the road. Okay, nice. So, we're going to go from here. And we are going to build the park. Let me turn this view off so it's not so bothersome. This is a park side gate. We're going to put one here. I'm going to put a lot of side gates, honestly. And you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to extend the park over to this side. Even though it's not going to be basically part of the park, but it's going to have a lot of gates that people are going to go through. And the more gates they're going to go through, the more money we make. Right? Cool. Nice. Okay, let's see where we're going to put them. Again, this off. Uh, let's put one right here, one here. Can put another sort of area here. We're just gonna pull this one down. Boom. I know, I'm sorry, I deleted your house. Didn't mean to. And then connect that one through here. Is that on the same one? No, it's on the second one. Okay. Like that and like that. And the park area is gonna be connected like so, I'm going to put a bridge, a few bridges in between. Like that. Probably at like 9 meters above uh, sea level. Or sea level, <laughs> above ground level. Like that. We're going to put it down here. I think it goes up to 12 units before it doesn't collapse anymore. Or you could just put it at plus 3. One moment, there's something that shouldn't be happening. Elevation step. Let's put this at 1. So this is easier to do. There we go. We go down by 1. And I want to have a nice little not so steep area. And boom. Connect it here. I'm going to move it. So people are not actually going through here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. 
where are you? Oh, I clicked on this. My bad. Let's connect through here and go down about 12 units. I'm gonna put down at zero. And like so. This looks quite nice actually. And then over here, we're gonna put it down like this. We're gonna have to elevate that bridge later on because. Ooh, that doesn't connect. Interesting. Alright, let's delete that. Because we're gonna have a uh, monorail going right through it. But it's, it's alright. It's alright. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna make one here. Since all of this is gonna be the park area, I wanna get as close as to the. Uh, to the road as I can. Like that. Gonna make another bridge over here as well. Let's put it. How far was that one? It was right next to the road, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So hard to do though sometimes. Uh, nine elevation. Put it down here. Put it down. At this point, at 10, I think that will be fine. And I'm going to move this a little bit to the left. So it doesn't connect to the road directly. And on this side, we're probably just going to go directly towards the, uh, the industry area. This is going to be a little more curvy, but it's going to go with the flow. I'm going to go with uh, the houses over here. And I'm probably going to have a few roads coming down on the side when we get an upgrade for the for the roundabouts let's put up a plus nine over here go over the top go down over here and then we're gonna connect it like so and then just go all the way All the way to here. Let's see how will that work. Like so. And connect it to here. There you go. Cool. And that's a little nice bridge area as well. I didn't mean use the move it mod for that to work or anarchy. Okay, let's move that here. Let's move that backwards and then forward again. So they have the least, least amount of trip to do. They just go around here. Uh, and we're going to connect this down as well. Down at 12 units, I believe. There we go. Connect these two. That's nice. And let's actually connect this one here. So it's not connected directly to the road. And now we got to connect it with some roads and pipelines. I mean ro roads and pipelines, sorry. With pipelines and uh, water lines. Power lines. Jesus Christ, English today is so sucky. Alright, let's see where to go. We don't have a lot of money left. We're gonna actually take a loan. 60,000 should be plenty. And we're gonna get all our money back anyway. Let's uh, build it up a little bit. Make this pretty-ish. I'm gonna make a... Hmm, where should be the center of this? I think, like, I reckon about there. So let's do that. Let's make a nice little center here. And we'll see what we can do with the rest. How big is this gonna be? So it's gonna be, like, until there-ish. So now this is not going to be the center area. This is going to be born like the plaza area. And you'll see what I mean later on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I already know what I'm going to do. Let's delete this one as well. I'm just going to connect these ones here. Let's put down some of these park plazas right in the center. How far can we go? Let's put another uh, 
little path right down between and put more, two more on this side noise now let's put some park cafes which would be nice to have it right next to it. completely agreeable we have a park info booth right at the center uh, sorry at the entrance and another one here like so and we can get some restrooms in between one here for example so it's, everything is connected with power lines so i don't have to uh redo everything there we go nice everything is connected so i just need to put a power line in between i reckon i will put it right here like that and then we'll see how this goes so people should be coming from here through here and then go all the way there or we can even put a park well there's gonna be a major city here anyway so we'll see how that works all right the power lines have been established let's put this across there oh this one is still there we can actually fix that now excuse me for doing this the wrong way the first time it was kind of weird i'm just gonna put it directly to here and then connect it right there all right cool let's go across the road go here under the paths and i think that should cover it for now let's see how much money this can make us oh we're getting out of water again budget to 70 percent I'm going to put in some policies. I'm going to put in policies for advertisement campaign. I think this is for everything. Draws 20% more visitors, but costs 200 a week. Okay. Fine for fireworks? No. And then uh, we can have celebrate for fireworks. We can have even more fun. And we have night tours. This costs 50 a week. All right, fair enough. But the more you have, the better, right? Plus, people go through in, in the night. There we go. Some fireworks. Awesome. The more, the, the more people go through here, the better. I also need a park maintenance somewhere. And I think I'm just going to put it right there. Where it does belong. So, you have click park on maintenance. And the building is a little big. But, I think it fits here just nicely. Does it have water? It does not. Does it have water now? It does. Okay, cool. Now we just have to wait. A little bit, not much. <laughs> Probably gonna extend my uh, little town over here down to the uh, to the actual around about. Right about there-ish. And we're going to start curving the road here. And I might even put in some mass transit soon. Probably a tram. We'll see how that goes. Ooh. Okay, like that. That works too. We have a lot of demand. So let's put the demand down. Ooh, that one's not connected. Hello. There we go. Sorry if you're not happy. Not everybody can be happy. Only one person can be happy, and that is the happy from the Marvel Saga. Happy, happy. <laughs> cool, nice. Now, I would like to put in some paths before we continue. I think that was an auto save, that way it lagged. Okay. We said we're going to put in down a road right here. Not road, a uh, path. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to just put it right in between. Okay, cool. And one on this side. Like so. We can always put some in between here. Extend the road later on. I don't want to put it right against the road. Because when we extend the road, it's going to get deleted. 
like that. Can we squeeze one on here between? Oh wait, we can. Nice. I like that. Think, think, and think. There we go. Let's see where else we can put one. Maybe one here. People love to walk, by the way. Boom. And maybe more on this side. I don't think we can squeeze one here. No, it's too tight. Yeah, it's too tight. I'm sorry. But we can do one here. There we go. And then we said we're going to have a little park in there. Park area. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some trees in between as well. Let's put the speed on one. So we are not too fast. I'll put some trees down. The easiest way to put trees down is with the prop line tool and it comes very in handy. Oh look, park level 2. Nice. So it's the sun's coming up. It's a beautiful sunrise somewhere. Even though I can't even see the sun. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. It's going up slowly and slowly. Either way, I like a lot of these trees that I have seen on the workshop, so I just downloaded a few. I'm gonna put a line here. Hmm. They seem too close together, so I'm gonna put them a little further apart. Let's put 15 meters. You have this option here of saying toggle control panel. And just put them right there. Okay, now that looks a little better. So they're not completely close to each other. Wouldn't make it realistic. Uh, Can we put another line here? Yes, we can. Maybe on this side. Cool, nice. And here as well. Cool. All right. Let's put a park little or plaza even. Yeah, plaza would be fine. Let's put a park plaza right here. Like that. Oh, we're all, all out of money already. Holy shit. This goes slower than I thought. Okay, so we are making 1400 right now. And we could be making a little bit more. And we are going to make it more. So the maintenance is going to do its job. And once it goes to pink, the park area has more uh, of an attraction. So let's see what else we have here. We do have... A park chessboard. We could put potentially put it down here. Like that. And these two, I'm gonna have to build a little lake. And I'm gonna put the lake right here. The problem is I don't have enough money for that. At least I don't think I do. Because uh, if I put the rain down, I think it costs, yeah, it does cost quite a bit of money. I'm gonna wait for that. We're gonna put down some more industry in the meantime. And actually I'm gonna convert all of this industry to farming industry. Farming industry, there you go. Huh. We said we're gonna do a roundabout here though. So that will be our priority, but we don't have enough money for that. Hmm. Let's build, let's do this. Let's put this in a separate little district, including that one. We're gonna move the, we're gonna move this later on, as soon as it gets filled up. It's only 18% full. And the Sunset Heights should have another name for like Farming Heights maybe, or Lowlands <laughs> in this case. I'm going to put in a farming industry here. And all this is going to disappear. And we're going to have to redo it. But we have a lot of demands, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Let's put in some more in this case. Here and on this side. And let's... Uh, Put this on a higher speed. Crank it up a bit. 
and now this area is going to become full of farms instead of actual industry normal industry kind of like it better it's more of a rural rural style kind of thing cool oh they don't have water because i didn't put it there apparently this is not even aligned with the road so let's delete that and we're gonna put in a road i hate this stick snap too you know sometimes i really do it doesn't go with me so let's do it like this and connect it here and now everybody should have water cool How many people are going through here? Probably quite a few. If not everybody's going through here anyway. To to their work. Probably most of the people are going through here. Yeah, look at that. So at this point, our park is getting that much amount, but we're gonna increase the ticket price and that will give us twice the amount. And it doesn't matter because everybody's going through anyway. Still waiting for the number to go up. Still doesn't seem to go up for now. It should, but it doesn't. Hmm. It could be have something to do with the fact that in the night these guys don't work. Alright, let's uh, increase this. And, uh, well, I think it's a good start for now, right? It is. It is a good start for now. I'm going to have to increase the mm, water supply as well. There we go. Ooh. What about... Oh my goodness. We're going to need another power plant soon. Alright. Quickly increase the budget to maximum. And then we'll see what we can do about the power later on. We're not even making enough right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> going to yellow okay cool it depends on the time of the day how much you need and how much you're using let's see the coal power plant is 19,000 and we cannot take another loan because already paying off two we'll get to there though so I think we should call it a day here, basically, guys. I think this is a good start. Uh, not my best. I'm sure I could do better than that. But hey, it gives you a good representation of what I'm going to do. There's going to be a monorail coming down right through the middle here. And then it's going to turn off and it's going to go right here. And it's going to turn around and there. And probably this area is going to be one large metropolitan area. Once we unlock the... Uh, what do you call this? The high density residential but we need 8500 residents first and to get there is going to take a while all right so i think we did a pretty good job what do you think let me know down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't i'm gonna do quite a few of these episodes until we get to the point when we can Put down, down our monuments and stuff it's gonna be a huge city it's gonna be beautiful i'm gonna do a lot of beautification on it and uh well we'll see how it works anyway guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time ciao